All those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed, nay. This item is approved. Unanimous approval from Baltimore City Spending Arm. Green lighting a revised consent decree for the sewer system. This updated agreement with the feds, a $1.6 billion fix to a system that dates to the Civil War and that regularly spews overflow into waterways, streets, and homes. And I am at the city line, and it's my neighborhood who has received the brunt of all the overflow sewage. Over Ahead of this morning's vote, the panel heard from two impacted residents in a northwest Baltimore community plagued by basement sewage backups. Both took issue with the plan's extended deadline to complete the infrastructure rehab. But it needs to move forward to ensure that property owners do not continue to bear the burden of the problem. The DPW's legal team called the agreement a careful balance of needed upgrades with affordability for citizens, citizens whose input was part of the process. Let me just say that we hear you very clearly. You know, this is a federal um, mandate and we don't control the dates of the federal mandate, nor do we control the action, but we're, what we can control is what happens in neighborhoods and communities. To that end, the DPW announced a new fund going forward to compensate people for damage caused by sewage seeping into homes. There will be a, a cap of $2,500 per uh, incident per household. So uh, we will be providing uh, money in the event of uh, these sewer backups. So. And officials say this new reimbursement program is a direct result of resident feedback. Reporting live tonight, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.